Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very special episode of GNG News. So you've probably seen a recent, there is the new Super Mario movie that is going to be coming out at some point in the future, which has Chris Pratt playing the role as Super Mario and Jack Black playing the role as Bowser. So I thought it was quite befitting that all of a sudden we're now seeing loads of Super Mario type products and content all over the place. I spotted these a couple of days ago when I was out and about and we decided to pick them up. They're made by Panini. You've seen me open up several different Panini products in the past as uh, football trading cards and so on and so forth. Uh, there are eight cards inside of each pack. We're going to be opening up one pack for today. But before we do open it up, we're going to look on the back and see what are the different rarities and if there is any sort of blurb or any sort of description of what's going on with this pack. So first things first, to all of you people out there who don't like uh, crappy third party merch, this is actually officially licensed by Nintendo. So it's not one of them cheap companies trying to do something. And if you like Panini and you like their products, go to www.paninigroup.com. So the checklist on the back here says there is a total of 252 cards to collect. Now, the highest rating or rarity would probably be the eight cards. And sorry, the lowest rating, the lowest rarity is the highest rating, basically. So... The only one that has the lowest amount of cards that are available to collect are the 8 Toad and Toadette cards. Then it's the 9 Puzzle cards. Then we have Silver cards, 18. Gold cards, 18. Item cards, 18. Group cards, 18. Close-up cards, 18. Character cards, 18. But prior to that, there's also 10 Yoshi cards. Now, I like Yoshi, so I'm definitely going to be looking out for those. What else have we got? We have... Sports cards, 36 of those, 27 line drawing cards, 54 enemy cards, and I believe that is it. So, I guess without further ado, we better open this up and see exactly what we got inside. Okay, let's open this bad boy up, 8 cards, let's see what we got. And if you're enjoying watching this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications if you haven't done already. Because that way you'll be informed of when I upload new videos. Oh, I, I thought we had Mario straight away, but it's actually the back of the cards. So, how much do you reckon the most expensive card is going to be, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below, because these are going to get graded. And uh, my OCD, I'm going to have to put these into sleeves. Because it's going to drive me mad if I don't. Okay. Oh, actually says on the back what they are. So this is a close-up card. It's number 22. Let's see what it is. Hey, we got Yoshi. That's so cool. Oh, is it a rarity? Oh, no, it's not. It's just... Oh, is it? I don't know. There's like an embossed sort of feel to it. So maybe this one is a decent card. But we got Yoshi. Yoshi! Followed up next by an enemy card. Hmm. A Gooper. Hopefully it's a Gooper. Is it a Gooper? Is it a Gooper? No, but we got a red Cooper Paratrooper. That's pretty cool. These caused me a lot of issue back in the day. Have an enemy card. Uh... Hmm. It's not a Gooper. Then maybe one of them bomb, little bomb enemies. Oh no, I got a super leaf. I don't think I was supposed to show you that one first. Ooh, King Boo, that's a great um, enemy. So if you've played Mario's Man um, Luigi's Mansion, then you'll know about King Boo. And obviously all the boos from back on Mario 64. Super leaf, item cards. Pretty cool looking item. Enemy card up next. Oh, my days. So I can actually tell you a really cool story about these. Do you guys remember the desert level from Super Mario World 64? When these, they used to bang on your head. They used to go, <laughs> uh, So many memories. I really like these, to be fair. And I like the fact that I'm not... I've never played this card game, but due to the fact that I've played many Super Mario games, I know all these characters. So, uh, line drawing card. 
No, that's cool. That's very retro. That's very retro. Do you know what? I might put that in a sleeve. I think I've got to put all these in a sleeve, to be honest. Two cars left. These are upside down, so I think these are the good ones. So it's a sport card. Oh, <laughs> we got Bowser Jr. Let's go. And this is from the Mario Tennis game inside of his mech. That's pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. The last card. It's a sports one. Now, I would love to get Mario, but I don't think it's going to be Mario. So I'm going to say Princess Peach. Nope, I was completely wrong. It was King Boo. Or is that just a normal Boo? Either way, that, I thought that was a fantastic opening. I enjoyed that pack. Um, I'm not going to lie, though. My only uh, gripe with these is these are £2.50 each. Now, I understand the IP of Mario holds holds its weight. Um, but normal panini packs are about like a pound to two pounds. So pretty expensive But you know packaging looks fantastic art of the cars looks great great feel to them as well The only thing I wish that they would add in I wish we had like on the reverse side a bit more information about each individual character so like People who don't know too much about Mario can kind of learn more into it, but still I have enjoyed this video I have enjoyed opening this pack. I hope you guys have done as well if you have Leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications if you haven't done already. I'll be back very, very soon with some more of these packs to open up. We've got one more to open up, so hopefully we can pull some more great pulls. I've been GNG News, you guys have been a lovely audience. Have yourself a fantastic day. I will catch up with you all in the next video. If you turn on post notifications, you'll be informed each and every single time I upload new content. Peace.